On October 2nd, the girls volleyball team hosted its Volley for a Cure to raise awareness of and money for a cure for breast cancer. The event was very successful, raising over $2,500 for the Susan G. Komen Foundation. Although Wilmington's team lost, in the end, everyone was a winner for the support they contributed. The Cure is an opportunity for any high school volleyball team across the state of Ohio to host a match to raise money for breast cancer awareness and research through the Susan G. Komen Foundation. Um, the school is very much involved. Um, we had a lot of um, staff and students there at the match as well as um, preparing for the match. Student council helped out a lot. Um, the pep band was present at the match and then we also had a member of the uh, choir sing the national anthem. So there was a lot of involvement from the school. How was the volleyball team involved? Um, the volleyball team was involved by um, helping to plan the event in its entirety um, as well as um, soliciting donations and sponsorships for the event and also items for raffle prizes and contests. Um, I feel the event exceeded my expectations. Uh, since this is the first time we had ever done this, I wasn't entirely sure what to expect, but um, it went over very well. We had a lot of support and we raised a substantial amount of money. Do you plan on continuing Volley for the Cure next year? Um, yeah, as long as um, the Ohio High School Athletic Association is continuing to sanction the event, then um, as long as they're allowing us to host the event, we will continue to have the event. How can an individual help this cause now after the Volley for the Cure is over? Well, um, the Susan G. Komen Foundation has uh, several opportunities for people to come involved with breast cancer awareness and research. Um, not only through the Volley for the Cure matches, but um, they're also the people that are responsible for the um, the yogurt lids uh, raising money, as well as um, I mean, I've seen pink and pink M Ms for sale. Um, they just really have their name all over everything. And then um, I'm sure that anybody can take an active part if they just contact someone at the Susan G. Komen Foundation. My name is Linda Stanforth, and I'm an art teacher at Wilmington High School. Um, one of three art teachers at the high school presently. As diseases that the treatments go on for a while. I was uh, finished with chemo and then started on medication uh, for five years and I'm on uh, Famara now which is for a second five years. Uh, so I'll be on medication for a total of ten years after the chemo treatment. Uh, it isn't what really makes you feel very normal at times but again you're trying to do everything you can um, to be strong. Volley for the Cure, which happened uh, here in October, was an incredible experience for me. Uh, I walked into the gym and the game had already started. The sea of pink and all the cheering fans was an incredible sight. Uh, everyone was having a great time and people were being recognized for being survivors. Um, and there was enough education um, about breast cancer that I think was a very effective evening. Uh, the speaker, Pat Wallace, has also suffered from cancer and um, I think her words were spoke really from the heart. Um, those kind of events have allowed science to progress to finding more answers for the cure for different kinds of cancers and um, that's what it's going to take, time, research, and money. I would like to add that I think it's really important, and this is no mystery, but people need to really be aware of their own bodies and take care of the responsibility of their own good health. Um, <clears throat> cancer is devastating to not only the individual that it affects, but the families. And cancer doesn't always follow genetic uh, lines. It did it in my case. No one in my family had been afflicted by cancer until my situation and so it's one of those things that you have to be responsible and take care of your own health and the process of staying healthy. Last we have The Buzz. It's a place for students to voice their opinions on all matters whether they're serious or not. Ready? 
Liz, what's your uh, favorite Halloween costume? That'd have to be Cinderella because she's a little princess and I'm a little princess. Tinkerbell because she flies around and she glitters <laughs> in the movie. You know, like the little sparkles <laughs> and fairy dust. <laughs> I'd have to say the uh, Charlie Brown uh, sheet ghost costume. What's your favorite Halloween costume and why? Uh, I'd have to go with the, uh, the Dirty Devils. Those are pretty hot. What's your favorite Halloween costume and why? Um, I like the witch. It's classic Halloween. Tough one. What's your favorite Halloween costume and why? I would say that my favorite Halloween costume, thanks to Sarah, would be Brutus the mascot for Ohio State University because he is my favorite and my son and my wife's favorite. We have a, we have a tradition that we put up Brutus in our front yard every Saturday morning. Go Bucks. Go Bucks. Tyler, what's your favorite Halloween costume and why? Uh, the Ninja Turtles because you get to put a shell on and walk around and fight people. What's your favorite Halloween costume and why? It's not a costume I would wear, but my favorite Halloween costume is Superman because he's like Superman. Liz, if you found $100, what would you buy? If I found $100, I think I'd buy maybe some diamond earrings or put it towards a brand make a new phone or maybe just put it in the bank. I haven't decided yet. I'd probably buy some gift certificates to Lumberton because that's where I like to eat at. It's a good place to eat. Uh, I think if I found $100, I would probably buy all my students lunch. That's a good question. I'd probably invest it. Invest it? Yeah. Smart choice. If you found $100, what would you buy? I would buy my son, Thomas the Train, toys. If you found $100, what would you buy? I would definitely go shopping. And, and buy what? Clothes. I'd give it to charity. If you found $100, what would you buy? An Ninja Turtle costume. If you found $100, what would you buy? Well, if I couldn't return it to its rightful owner, I would spend it on clothes. Good answer. Good answer. That's a good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Thanks for tuning in. I'm your host, Beth Bray. Seriously. What happened to my thing, though? Well, I know. That's the problem. Why is it pushed like that? Ha 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 